Hey everyone, welcome back. Tonight, we're going to be using a razor that I currently have on loan from CDB, and that is the Blackland Vector. I currently have a Feather Pro Super loaded in this. Uh, now, I have used this razor once before, but that was on my head. So, I did keep the tradition. I used that Saturday, I think it was. And uh, I was using black amber vanilla for that shave that evening. I needed to shave my head, clean the vector after I got it, and uh, use that for a dome shave. Because I have heard how phenomenal the vector is on the head as well as the face. And it did a great job with the, uh, the Pro Super there. The soap I'm using this evening is WSP's Bay Rum. As mentioned before, this little dent in the tin was there when I bought it. This was bought as a scratch and dent. So I'm not too concerned about that. I bought it when I was at Maggard's over a year ago now. The brush I'm using is the, I don't know, remember how to say it. It's a fancy schmancy French brush, two band. Very little backbone, but extremely soft. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the vector. This has some good heft to it as well. I mean, stainless steel, but a very, very thin head. I just barely larger than the AC blades. All right, let's find that angle. There is some blade fill to this. Which isn't bad. A little bit more blade fill than I thought there would be. I don't know what the blade gap is on here. And I think Blackland says this is like a mid, medium aggressive razor. I'm going to go back and look. That's exactly what this is. And I'm sure using the, uh, the Pro Super kind of ups the aggressiveness on this thing as well. One thing I did find with the handle is that this little indent right there is kind of like that balancing point. If you hold it there, it seems very well balanced in the hand. So as I mentioned, I am borrowing this razor, seeing if I want to get one myself. Looks like there's a little bit of red. I think I went a little too aggressive on here. Used a DE last night and did not cut myself. Although I did dig out a couple of ingrowns. That was like an ingrown. I think there's an ingrown on my face. And I'm just looking to cut this as a great shave. Then take a look at that bump. When I have my glasses on, I can see what they come doing. So first pass went really well, really smooth. Razor feels a lot more aggressive than I thought it would be, as I mentioned. And I know my lather is whipped up. And you can see the sheen. Maybe not because my lighting sucks. You can see the sheen, it just kind of goes on very easily. It's a well hydrated lather. So it's not the lather that's the issue. I mean, there's a reason I use WSP when I test razors. Well, I should say when I, I mostly use WSP, I've broken that a couple times. Just because I wanted to try a different soap. I had a new razor on deck. I was like, now I'm gonna use this soap tonight instead. But for the majority of my cheese, anytime I get a new 
piece of hardware. I rocked WSP. All right, against the green. And I know some people don't like WSP because of the tins. And they can get dented, blah, blah, blah. I still like WSP. I'll continue to rock WSP whenever I can. I think your soaps are awesome. So, anyway, razors do run really well. Uh, I know this is near the end of the life on this blade, I think. I'm getting into the double digits. And I know the pro supers don't last as long as like, ooh, yeah. There's a little bit of red in there. So this will be cleaned up well before it goes back to CDB. Because I did not feel any irritation yesterday in the shave. I was like, I got myself a couple times here. And that's definitely an ingrown. I took off or did something. I swear, I cut myself more with single edge and DE razors than I do chevettes. I don't know why. That just kind of sees <laughs> just how it is lately. Is it like I do anything prep differently or anything? And have you chevettes in that enough that I'm comfortable with them like I am with the DE or an SE? So it's not like I'm being extra careful because I'm scared of the, the Chevette. I just cut myself more often. You can see that. And I haven't bled like that for a little bit. Oh well. We all bleed once in a while. Lather's definitely well hydrated. It's rinsing extremely well. Oh man. So anyway, this weekend, I had my mouse on birthday. That's why I used uh, black and vanilla the day before. And then I used Kapali on my birthday. Saturday was also um, Arizona appre uh, Appreciation Day. <laughs> in one of the shave groups of which I belong. And I used, even though Black Amber Vanilla is my favorite scent, uh, my birthday is the same day as Douglas Smythe's. So, it just felt right to use his soap on our birthday. So I used Kapali. And that scent is phenomenal. That's just black and vanilla, to me. My top two, and Kapali just barely is number two. The thing that pushes black and vanilla to the top is it's my wife's favorite scent. She liked Kapali, but her all-time favorite scent is black and vanilla. I think this blade might be getting close to toast. I'm probably going to bend it after this one. Leaving some stuff behind. And man! That was rough. I didn't even feel that. Yeah, this blade's gone. If I can get myself that bad with this, it's definitely time to bend the blade. Now, one thing I did notice with the vector is when it's wet, because its head is so small, it's a little difficult to get the blade out. So just, if you have one of these, or if you're borrowing one, just take a little extra care.
taking the blade out. Man, that's a lot of stubble in there. So the blade is still doing its job, but I think it's done after this one. I'm glad I ordered some last week. Or the week before. We never ordered them and they came in last week. So I have some pro supers and, and all that. But anyway, like I was saying this weekend. So my birthday was Sunday. And we went to my parents' house Saturday for a barbecue. Restaurants here are open, so we could dine in, social distancing, and all that stuff. My parents asked what I wanted for my birthday, and I said, I want brisket. My dad offered. So, he made a brisket. And he smoked pineapple with some brown sugar rub, ordered glaze, and smoked that in one of the smokers. Just went over there and had a phenomenal dinner. It snowed. We don't have our yard in, so our backyard is dirt and exposed sprinkler heads. So we're still, we don't let the kids play outside, like just run around uh, willy nilly in the backyard because of that. We don't want them to trip and hurt themselves on the sprinkler heads. Because the sprinkler heads can be replaced and repaired, not a big deal. Kids, if they hurt themselves too bad, that's no bueno. That's very smooth. A lot of wood coming out there. So yes, CDB, I will be cleaning this very well before I send it back to you. We're gonna really clean it up. So we went over there to my parents Saturday. We had dinner, ate far too much food, and then uh, kids went outside and played. And it was, it got dark, and it was dark food, and they were still cleaning out in the backyard. And, I'm like, we want to come back and play more. So, we ended up going back to my parents' house on Sunday. And my dad smoked a pizza. Now, if you've never had pizza on a smoker, you're missing out. Oh, man. It makes the crust very, very crisp. But not, like, hard-to-cut crisp, but just crisp. Like a... Uh, like a brick oven. And it imparts a little bit of the smoke flavor to the cheese. Oh! Smoked pizza is probably one of the best things there is. But I'd be careful because tomatoes and my arthritis, so it sucks. But we did that. And then kids, of course, you know, they played. We got there before it got dark, so they went and played. And then we had dinner and they just kind of hung out a little bit afterwards. And then back to work today. So... That was kind of the bummer part was normally I take like the I take the week of my birthday off. But this year we're extremely busy and I, I didn't want to do that. So and it was just really close to Christmas. So we're gonna finish off with some witch hazel. This one's a dang near gone. So back to work today. Tomorrow I'm doing a kind of a pilot training of a bunch of users at the a hospital. Normally when we do trainings for projects, we do maybe three a day because they're about two hours long. This week, I'm doing trainings one hour per user and I'm training six users a day. So we normally do three users and I'm working with six a day. And it's all remote because of pandemic. Where the heck did it go? There it is. And on the East Coast. So I'm gonna deal with East Coast times. We're gonna finish off with Moon Soap Sunscented. So it's gonna be an early day. And then even then, afterwards, I still have a, a team meeting at the end of the workday that I can get to participate in. So very long week this week. But I still have a job, so that's a good thing. I like my job. I like what I do. I have people I work with. 
So, you know, win, win, win. Just, I want to be mentally fried by the end of the week. Just because trainings are mentally taxing. But anyway, that was the shave. Uh, I'm, you can use the vector pretty much all week to test the different blades on it, see how I like it. Initial impressions. It's very well balanced, excellently made. It's Blackland, you can't go wrong with Blackland. Uh, the head is very small, so I would, which means it makes it kind of hard to get the blade out, especially with the blade as well, like this is right now. But I think this blade is almost toast, which is why the redness and blood from the shave. I don't blame this, I blame the blade, not the razor. It is a very nice razor. I plan on using it again a couple times to really get a good feel for it to see if I want to drop the scratch and get one for myself. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in uh, and I will catch you all next time.